Sebastian Baz Rutin, fight sports pioneer and innovator, MMA legend, TV show host, pro wrestler, actor, inventor, terrifying bald man who gives you life advice on YouTube. Here are the things you might not have known about the amazing Boss Rutin. If you're an MMA fan, you probably know that Boss Rutin has a great record, but it might be strange to discover that his status as a UFC legend is based on very few actual UFC fights. In fact, the vast majority of the fights that made his name were for the Japanese promotion Pancrase. His professional record of 28-4-1 contains only two UFC matches, one resulting in Rutin winning the UFC Heavyweight Championship against Kevin Randleman. Despite Rutin's relatively small role as an active UFC fighter, his high regard within the circle was enough for UFC President Dana White to surprise Rutin in 2015 by announcing his induction into the UFC Hall of Fame. As MMA Junkie reports, Rutin was genuinely astonished when he learned of his induction. He was a special induction in the Hall's Pioneer class, which was designed to honor professional fighters who dominated the ring in the wild days before the introduction of unified MMA rules in 2000. As UFC chairman and CEO Lorenzo Fertitta stated, He's a pioneer of the UFC. He was there in the early days as one of the guys that's really responsible for keeping this promotion going. It's entirely possible that Boz Rutin wouldn't be the multi-talented fighter we know today if he hadn't decided to make an even bigger name for himself by moving from his native Netherlands to the United States. According to Sports Illustrated, a move to the US was something he had been considering ever since he was young, but he remembers full well when the distant dream turned into a full-on, rock-solid decision. The move later acted as a catalyst that propelled Rutin to assorted upwardly mobile career moves and opportunities he might never have received otherwise, especially within the entertainment industry. When you look at Boz Rutin today, it's hard to imagine him as a child. Surely a man like that was built at a shipyard, or at the very least was born with six-pack abs. However, the reality of Boz Rutin's childhood is very different. According to Sports Illustrated, young Boss was an extremely sick child and spent much of his youth battling asthma and suffering from chronic eczema. Whenever it struck, he had to spend up to months in bed, bandaged up and requiring round-the-clock care. He spent his formative years reading comic books and daydreaming about the U.S. Yet, Rutin's illness and spending his days wearing protective clothing at school made him a natural target for bullies. But pre-teen Rutin became fascinated with the martial arts after watching Bruce Lee movies. After two years of begging, his parents enrolled him in Taekwondo classes. Rutin once faced down the town bully and one shot at him so hard he broke the bully's nose. If you're aware of Boss Rutin's famous self-defense instructional video, chances are you've seen more than one variation of the street defense spot. Rutin has demonstrated various brutal ways to incapacitate an opponent during a bar brawl while dropping hilarious one-liners and commentary like, I'm sorry sir, but I'm going to break your leg. It's hard not to see the video's charm. After all, it's pretty captivating to witness a large Dutch man sagely revealing the secrets of his mighty quote, heel to the balls, special move. The original version is called Lethal Street Fighting, and the famous clip is a short supercut. Rutin quite appreciates the clip because it got him so much attention that he says it essentially launched his career in acting. If you're an MMA fan and have played Grand Theft Auto 4, some of main character Nico Bellic's fighting moves might seem strangely familiar because it's all Boss Rutin. In an interview with Submission Radio, Rutin says he didn't really understand what he signed up for when the developers approached him for the gig because he's not much of a video gamer. But he brought his signature work ethic to the game and even ended up improving on the developers' original plans. Rutin's involvement with GTA 4 didn't end with a few nifty moves either. He also played himself in The Men's Room, a toilet-themed in-game talk show where a psychopathic parody version of Rutin and a more traditional TV personality called Jeremy St. Hives try to keep the show going before the episodes inevitably turn into wild rants about Rutin's violent escapades. Because Boss believes in an eye for two eyes, or better yet, an eye for two eyes and an ear and a spleen and maybe a new shirt because this one is covered in entrails. Boss Rutin has been appearing in movies and TV shows since 1999. But his most visible foray into filmland so far is arguably the 2012 MMA comedy Here Comes the Boom, 
where he played the meaty supporting role of a trainer called Nico. Sports Illustrated says critics lauded his, quote, delightfully affable screen presence, and the LA Times even said Rutan stole the show from star Kevin James. In an interview with SureDog, longtime MMA fan James said the movie got its start when he and fellow stand-up comedian MMA commentator Joe Rogan started talking about ways to incorporate mixed martial arts into comedy form without making it too silly. Rutan's in-ring flips, demented demeanor, and proficiency at knocking people out made Rogan and James instant fans. And when Rutan signed up with UFC, James got a chance to meet him and the two became great friends. Rutan's personality and humanity ultimately inspired James to make the movie, so it's probably not a huge surprise the former champ wound up with such a significant role. Sports Illustrated notes that Boss Rutan entered the world of MMA from a background of Taekwondo, karate, and Thai boxing. None of those styles really prepare you for the grappling side of things, and Rutan found out the hard way when he started training the MMA way. Despite this initial setback, Rutan rose to the challenge and started obsessively studying the world of submissions. He wallpapered his home with sticky notes detailing various techniques and dragged friends to the gym at night to test out ideas about various chokes and holds. When Rutan fought his first matches for Japan's Pancrasay Federation in 1993, he was still very much a student of the submission game. When he eventually got his mat game together, he became unstoppable. He earned the King of Pancrasay title three times and tore through 19 straight fights without a single loss and just one draw before leaving Pancrasay in 1998. There are many words you can use to describe Boss Rutan, but chances are that Inventor wouldn't be one of them. Rutan actually has four different patents to his name. The patents are all variations of an oxygen training device he calls the O2 Trainer a mouthpiece that offers resistance during inhalation while allowing free exhalation, thus helping the user build up respiratory strength. The interchangeable end cap inserts of the mouthpiece allow the user to control the amount of resistance. According to O2 Trainer blog, Rutan says the idea of the device is to help you build stamina so you never, quote, run out of gas during competition. He also says that the increased lung capacity training the O2 trainer builds is quite handy for dealing with chronic asthma, something that Rutan, a lifelong sufferer of the condition himself, is more than familiar with. You know, it's another great thing that came out of the disease, right? First I come up with this uh, fighting style and become a champion, and now suddenly I came up with an invention. Scientific studies of similar devices suggest they have limited effectiveness, but who knows? It seems to help Rutan just fine. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more grunge videos about your favorite athletes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.